Hi friends, Amanda here. Thanks for joining me for today's mandatory activity, which is a fun melt and pour soap project um, called a honeycomb soap. Now there are a lot of honeycomb soap tutorials on the internet um, and you know it's a little bit of a fad right now because it's pretty cool. Um, but the thing that inspired me to give it a try was that I found this detergent free honey soap from Crafter's Choice. You know, it lathers really well and the project came out really great and the smell is fantastic. So it's one of those soaps where, you know, when you've got it out sort of, you know, curing out of the mold, every time you walk by it, you get a whiff, um, even without getting too close. So um, it's a fun project and I'm going to speed it up for you. I'll do a voiceover and this will be a quick and easy tutorial. I hope you enjoy. Okay, to start you need a cavity mold. I'm using a 12 cavity mold, a rectangular one from Bram Brambleberry, and you need some bubble wrap. That's actually what's going to create the honeycomb pattern on our soap. Um, you can use any shape of cavity mold that you like, uh, as long as it has a flat bottom. So rectangle, square, circle, you know, whatever you prefer. Just make sure you cut your bubble wrap pieces to be the same size as, you know, the, the top flat part of your soap. Okay, once you have your bubble wrap prepped, let's go ahead and get our soap together. You're obviously going to need your melt and pour soap base, a melting pitcher, and something to cut your soap base with. Now again, I've chosen this Crafter's Choice detergent-free honey um, soap, soap base, and you know it's got a very limited number of ingredients here since it's detergent-free, um, but it does have real honey in the ingredients. And people say that honey is naturally high in antioxidants and can make your skin kind of glowy, so you, you be the judge. But uh, melt and pour soap bases in general, pretty easy. Um, I'll, I'll link some other melt and pour projects that I've done here on my channel. Um, getting the melt and pour soap out of the container is usually the hard part. But um, Crafter's Choice melt and pour soap bases are from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I'll link that for you as well. But I like them because they've got these little notches, so it makes it really easy to cut them into sort of manageably sized cubes. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill up my container. And once I have, you know, a full container in here, I'm going to go ahead and put it in a microwave in 30 second bursts and voila, we have melted honey soap. So to color my soap, I'm using this amber liquid colorant from Amazon actually. And I'm just going to do one drop at a time. I don't want it to get too, too dark. Um, I don't want it to look, you know, too much like beer, <laughs> but uh, I think two, two drops is where I ended up. I think that's a pretty nice light amber color. And I'm just going to use my thermometer here and check the temperature at 120 degrees. So that's kind of a great place to go ahead and add some fragrance because it's not going to burn off. So honey almond fragrance oil from Crafter's Choice is what I have chosen. Um, and you know, it is a really strong fragrance. It seems you know, some of them just don't work super well in a melt and pour soap and this one, the retention is great, but it does have some vanilla in it. You can see here on the, on the, on the label. And when you have that, you need to put in some color stabilizer. Otherwise uh, the vanillin is going to turn your soap brown. So I'm using equal parts of the fragrance oil and the color stabilizer. And you need to check the website to determine what the appropriate usage rate is for any fragrance oil or essential oil that you're using in your project. Um, and you can do that with the fragrance calculator on the Wholesale Supplies Plus website. And I love this little pour trick too, because you can uh, pour your fragrances down um, a skewer or a pipette and it keeps it from dripping down the side of your bottle. Okay, with your fragrance mixed in, give it a little bit of a stir. I'm gonna go ahead and add my vanilla color stabilizer. Now there are two varieties, one's for melt and pour, one's for cold process. I'm using the melt and pour variety and I'll link that for you below. And you obviously can pick whatever fragrance you like, but if it has any vanillin, this is a must. And I'm just gonna go ahead and whisk this together. Um, I'm using a bamboo skewer, uh, make sure it's nice and incorporated. And spritzing it with a little 91% rubbing alcohol just to pop the bubbles. Check in the temperature. Yeah, 112, 111. So it's a decent pour temperature. It's not too hot that it's gonna melt the mold. 
and we'll go ahead and make sure that those cavities are full. I couldn't get a you know all 12 of mine, um, but I got nice full bars and spritzed them with rubbing alcohol on the top as well. And now you just take your bubble wrap and press it bubble side down so the bubbles are against the base of your pour. And I like to use my bamboo skewer just to give it a little bit of a tap and get some of that uh, air pockets out. And just go ahead and repeat with all the bars that you just poured. So I was excited. I only left mine for about six hours before I decided to unmold it because uh, I really wanted to see what it looked like. And it's really, really cool. So I, this, this mold's very deep, so it was a little hard to pop out. But you just gently peel off the bubble wrap and you've got your sort of automatic honeycomb pattern. So, so cool. And that is a little bit of soap, not a little bit of plastic wrap. But it was beautiful. It smelled amazing. It's a really, really fun project. So this detergent-free honey soap from Crafter's Choice is considered a low sweat soap. Um, if you're not a, a soaper or haven't done a lot of melt and pour soap projects, that might not mean much to you. But, but basically, uh, a glycerin melt and pour soap has a tendency to get what they call glycerin dew. It looks kind of like a shiny, um, sometimes like a little bit of, of a bumpy texture. And that's just because glycerin is a natural humectant, so it draws moisture out of the air onto your soap. Um, and you know, if you're using it on your skin, onto your body, so it can be you know kind of kind of a moisturizing effect. But it does you know sometimes not look the greatest. And um, a lot of these detergent-free soaps from Crafters Choice um, are low sweat, and this is one of them. So um, I have a picture here. You can see this is what it looked like after I just sort of let it sit for a couple of weeks, and you know it got a little bit cloudier, which I think actually sort of helps with the honeycomb effect. Um, but it didn't get sweaty and it maintained its fragrance really, really well. It lathers really nicely. So um, all in all, it's, it's definitely a project I'll do again. Um, it's a product I'll use again. The honey soap, um, you know, worked really well, smells really good and lathers like a dream. So I hope you give this a try because it's super fun and really easy and uh, ends up being a beautiful project or a great gift. All right. Until next time, bye.